good morning everybody welcome back to the sullivan family so it's monday morning which means it's shopping day so ben is on late this week meaning that i am doing my shopping in the morning so the kids are all on holidays it's the easter holidays so i've left them at home with ben actually they just want to go on the trampoline to be fair that's all they wanted to do this morning was go out on the trampoline but that was about seven o'clock so i said they had to wait until 10 to go out on the trampoline because the neighbors wouldn't be very happy otherwise um so they just want to bounce in the sunshine and it is actually quite sunny today which is nice i'm hoping that the weather stays nice for the week or at least dry we're going to try and go ben's as i said ben's on late this week he's on uh he's off next week he's got the week off um so we're hoping to do some days out next week i've booked for landmark um one of the days obviously flo's birthday is this friday so we're going to be well, that's good friday as well so he's off anyway on friday um so yeah and then obviously easter as well it's a busy week i've got lots to do i've just suddenly realized that everything needs to happen this week and then next week's going to be busy as well because we've got days out and then obviously lizzie's birthday so it's all very busy um I'm very good at thinking, oh yeah, I'll do that next week. I'll do that next week because that's not coming up till then. And then all of a sudden, everything needs to be done. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I've just done Asda. So I think, I was saying in yesterday's vlog, everybody is at home this week. There's no dance lessons or anything. So I can do proper meals of the evenings. But I really need to be more adventurous. I kind of tend to stick to a lot of the same meals because i know they're the ones that people will eat um but i'd like to kind of do more and that people the, the kids are getting a little bit more adventurous a lot of them will try more stuff but not all of them um so it's kind of a bit difficult because you stick to the safe things because you know that people will eat them and i can't really be afford to be throwing food away and i don't want to you know food waste i don't like wasting food um but equally it would be quite nice to try some different things i think that's quite a good thing about the air fryer is that um i can do small try out small things uh that some of them will eat so anyway um we're gonna have fajitas one night i was gonna do pasta bake tonight but i think i'm just gonna do pasta because it's quick and easy um i might do bolognese one night one night everybody's kind of gone off mince a little bit and it, tesco's used to do a half and half if they've got that in i'll get that if not I'll get mince um so I don't cook bolognese all that much because we do, people have just gone off eating lots of mince so it's okay every now and again um but we're not really very big meat eaters we kind of more pastas and vegetables um dishes that sort of thing which is fine but um yeah I think either I could do a chili but not everybody likes chili anyway I'm thinking out loud. The one thing I did, so lure pack, I never buy lure pack, but just, it's £6.95. 75. 75. £6.75 75 for a tub of lure pack, which is just crazy. I've started only buying the vegan flora now because everybody prefers it to any of the other butters. Um, and I do buy the big one. So it's normally about 4 50 I think it was on offer today for £3.50 in Asda um but Isabel uses it for cakes as well so she could use it in cakes and we all use it but then she does get annoyed when people get toast crumbs in it and she's got to use it for cakes so she tries to keep a separate one anyway um so kitchen roll saga Asda haven't had their own kitchen roll in very much over the last couple of weeks I did manage to get some excuse me i did manage to get some on friday but i needed some more for this week now they haven't got any in again today so plenty have started because they used to do the three rolls and it went up to like six pound 95 and asda would do the three roll equivalent and it was um four pound 30 so plenty started doing they've split their rolls so they do the one roll which is the big one and they started doing a two pack of the big ones instead of three but the price last week was still sitting at five pound 25 so i had to buy it last week because there wasn't anything else to buy so i bought two rolls of five pound 25 i've gone in there today and it's three pound 75 
or £3.25, one of the two. And it's not on special offer. It just says new. So I have a feeling that they wrongly priced it last week, which means I paid like ridiculous £2 more than, or £1.50 more than I should have done, which is annoying. Somebody has actually suggested to me to get, I can't remember what it was called, but in Home Bargains, is it a Buffalo one or something like that? They've got an equivalent one and apparently it's really good. So I've got to go to Home Bargains this week. So I'm going to go and I'm going to get some, but I had to get some in the meantime. Um, so I'm going to give that a go and I'll let you know because I hate thin kitchen mould. It's got to be nice thick stuff. Anyway, I'm done Asda. I'm going to Tesco's uh, to finish off and get the rest. We're done. Tesco's is, we're done. Um, I'm trying to think what, if there was any bargains in Tesco's. Uh, I don't think there was. Was there? Did I get anything from bargain? I got everything I needed, I think. But I don't know if any of it was a bargain. Um, last couple of weeks, I haven't had any nappies or pull-ups of the size I need in Asda. So I've had to get Tesco's. I'm not as keen on Tesco's nappies as I am on Asda nappies, but they're all right. Um, they do the job. And I'd much rather buy the uh, supermarket branded ones than the... Actually, I find the supermarket branded ones better than like the named brand ones. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've tried Pampers and stuff over the years and I always find the supermarket brand ones better Audi's ones are quite good as well actually um so yeah but I they're okay so I've got them um actually I was gonna say things like I've noticed as well I will buy unless it's like a special occasion I will buy um supermarket um supermarket own brands like baby shampoo and baby bath and things like that because I still use baby shampoo on the up to like the twins actually i think toby might still use it as well because it's quite good for their hair um so i still use that but i've noticed it used to be like a pound a bottle and it's now like one pound 20 a bottle so that's gone up like i'm sure it was 20 one twenty. so that's that's in tesco's that's i quite like tesco sh baby shampoo on the odd occasion if something's on a special special offer I might buy Johnson's, but I normally buy Tesco's. Sometimes Asda, but yeah, that's gone up like 20p a bottle. I mean, it, it lasts quite a few weeks, so it's, you know, but it's just those little things that go up 20p a time. Um, actually, curry sauces, I buy the Patax ones and they are cheaper by 15p in Tesco's than they are in Asda. They're £2 in Asda, they're one eighty-five in Tesco's. Just a little heads up. So my car is full and I'm going to take this lot home and give it to Ben and Isabel to put away. Hey guys, so how you all doing? Yeah, we're back on the weekly shopping haul vlog, the grocery haul vlog. And this week, everybody is off on Easter holidays. So everybody's playing outside on the new trampoline at the moment. And some of the older ones are inside in the lounge and all that kind of stuff. So... Zoe's literally just come back. Uh, Elizabeth was helping her this morning with all the shopping. So um, it's all back. It's all put out. Isabel's helping me at the moment because Olivia is away on a dance competition. Olivia should be back tonight, actually. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so this is a weekly one. Um, obviously, there'll be a couple of more little ones along the way this week just to top up. But essentially, this is the big one. So we're going to crack on. Right, here we go then, right to left this week. So we've got the bold, you see that every week, the bold washing tablets. We've got um, fajitas this week. So Zoe's talked me through the weekly meal plan this week as I'm on late. So um, she's bought me a couple of meals for me to take to work. Um, but she's gonna be doing, right, she's gonna be in pasta tonight. She's gonna be doing fajitas Tuesday night. She's gonna be doing uh, bolognese. She's gonna be doing a pasta bake i believe for thursday night so that makes that's that four meals throughout the week so that's that's basically what they're going to do but they're going to be making some homemade garlic things as well i think she said um but we'll run through all that we'll run through all the food anyway so we've got 
Old El Paso, this was on special apparently this week, so it was uh, buy one get one free, was it, on the Old El Paso? No, they were just on special. They are just on special, right, okay. So alongside the fajitas then, coming down here, we've got a little seasoning mix to go to go with that as well. Uh, there's the huge honey for breakfast and stuff. Uh, we've got some pasta sauce top up. Uh, this is only a top up this week, so we've got we've already got one of these in the cupboard of garlic, and this is the one that the kids absolutely love. Now, just to remind everybody, it's the as the tomato and garlic sauce. They absolutely love it, uh, and that's the one that Zoe and I have. And also, the older girls like this one as well. They, they like a bit more spice, so they like those. Um, there's a tin of sweet corn there to go, probably to go with fajitas. Uh, oh, there's a curry sauce there, just a random one because there's another three over there. Right, so obviously we've topped up on the curry because we had curry last week, which is really, really nice. Um, so we've got some tikka masala there. We've got hot dogs there. We always keep hot dogs in for emergencies, just in case we need to do a quick meal, um, if we've been out anywhere or something like that. So we've always got hot dogs in the cupboard. Um, this is for uh, Isabel's baking. She's been making a few things in the air fryer. We've got the air fryer video coming up. We've just to finish that off. Um, so we've been doing some simple things in the air fryer video, like uh, so. Um, Isabel's been making like these homemade donuts and stuff like that. And then we've been doing home cooked chips and things. So that's that's something to look forward to. Right, we've got ketchup there. And then we've got some custard creams. We've got the apple juice that you see every single week, which the kids love to drink in the mornings. We've got plenty. Why have we got plenty this week? Oh, I, just, I had a whole conversation with this when I came out of Asda. So the people will have already seen this. Oh, right. Okay. They, they, they haven't got any Asda's kitchen roll. Yeah. So I've had to buy plenty. Now plenty was three in a pack, but now they've gone down to doing two in a pack, and it's two pounds cheaper than it was before. Don't even. I just don't. Even, right. Okay. Just don't even go so you've got to have a degree in in maths to work things out now, have you? Yeah. Also, so so we've got so we've got toilet oh, roll. So we've got toilet roll. <laughs> right. Anyway, so um, we've got curry there. There's curry sauces now. Um, we've also got some free from cereals because um noah's been struggling recently with with his digestive system that's all i'm gonna that's as far as i'm gonna go into it but <clears throat> he's been struggling with his digestive system so what we're trialing at the moment is gluten free and just to see if he's uh, got an intolerance to gluten well, just, uh, to cut down just cut gluten. Yeah, yeah and just just, just to see one of the things. if that's what's affecting him uh, and then we'll go from there, really. If, and if that is what's affecting him, then that, then we've kind of nailed it, haven't we? Um, anyway, so we've got some clusters there as well. Then we've got the Oreo top up, which are milk free for Agnes, so she can eat them. And then the, again, these are mini ones for lunch boxes. So we've got a couple of those there. We've got the um, I think we've got mine. So it's coffee, which we literally couldn't survive without. Our Kenko uh, rich coffee. Then we've got noodles as well. So we, we keep things like this leaving in the cupboards just in case, like I said, with the hot dogs uh, for meals like um, if we want to do something quick and easy that the kids really like. So so we've got some super noodles there. Uh, we've got some more packed lunch stuff, even though they're not at school at the moment because it's Easter holidays, but we'll top them anyway. And we've got Agnes's little free from caterpillars that she absolutely loves. She loves these things, honestly. <clears throat> right, moving on then. We have... Garlic bread. Obviously, I've just I've just talked about um, some of the meal plans this week. So there's going to be a lot of pasta and, and stuff like that. And the kids like to have a bit, a little bit of garlic bread with it. So we've got those. Then we've got mince, mince for bolognese. We've got chicken there. So chicken fillets for um, fajitas. Then we've got my meals for the week because I'm on late this week. So I've got a tomato and mozzarella pasta bake, a cottage pie there, uh, a chicken uh, arrabbiata. Hope that's how you pronounce it. And then we've got beans, beans top up. And we finally got my crisps. So um, these are my, I love these crisps, right? Um, obviously I have them with my lunch, stuff like that. But the kids have hijacked this now, these now as well. So they've been, they've tried them and they love them. So now we've, we're now having to buy a lot more of these and we're running out a lot quicker because they, they've sort of hijacked my, my flavour of crisps. Anyway, we've got some space railings for Joseph, snapper jacks for Agnes and Joseph, some squares there, and then we've got some walkers down there as well, cheese and onion, chicken, salt and vinegar, and some hula hoops there. <clears throat> Sorry, and another packet of snapper jacks. Right, where did I get to? Where did I get to? Hope I haven't missed anything. Um, right, so we've got some Saint Pierre pan and chocolate because they're uh, vegan as well. So we're still trying offering Agnes things, you know, to try and get her to 
have a few more different tastes and stuff. So we buy, us, buy some of those. Joseph eats these anyway for his breakfast if she doesn't. Uh, and then we've got some bagels this week because um, um, Elizabeth likes to take those for her college and things like that. So we've got some bagels for, for lunches and stuff. Uh, and then we've got lots of fruit this week. So we've got the apples that I absolutely love. We've got the zingy, the zingy and crisp Brayburn apples from Asda. Uh, we have got cauliflower to go with some of the pasta bake and stuff like that. We've also got some Greek style yogurt. So one of the spin-offs from um, Isabel making these air fryer donut things. So she made them with, with flour and, and this stuff, right? But I've started to have this for my breakfast in the morning, just having a little bit of um, of the clusters mixed in and a bit of fruit. It's really nice. So so I've been uh, I've been having some some of this stuff. It's quite healthy, isn't it? So it's quite nice. Anyway, <clears throat> we have blueberries. We have kiwi. We have the normal red and green grapes. We have hovis. We've got three loaves of hovis. Will probably last us about two days. Um, because we're still on the harvest at the moment because we haven't found anything to replace it. And everybody's yep. on holiday, so that's why I've got extra stuff. There you go. Stuff. Yep. I didn't even know you'd be on me then. You okay, scared me. You. <laughs> you scared me. There's a voice from the voice from the gods. I'm going again now. <laughs> so there you go. That's, that's, that's from Zoe. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we've got some carrots there to go with the fajitas. There's some more broccoli there to go with the pasta. And then, like I say, every week we get a lettuce now. So we used to buy the packet packet leaf lettuce but um we buy one of these chop it up wash it up and put it in a tub and keep it in the fridge and that's for the kids to help themselves just to wraps to whatever if they want to have some with a meal or whatever it's always in in the fridge right so we've got bananas in the back so there's a big old banana top up there we've got uh the big old block of cheese we've got the wafer thin roast chicken slices for sandwiches and the honey roast slices for sandwiches <clears throat> We've got mozzarella this week and we've got garlic granules and this is so the children can try and make their own garlic bread. They wanted to have a shot at making some of their own garlic bread this week so we thought yeah go for it we'll just we'll just get a little packet of this and just let them have a have a bit of fun. Right it's cucumbers there we've got the usual jam uh, so this is obviously the vegan flora that we've switched to now um, totally switched to that and also Isabel used it for her bacon and she finds it really really good for bacon actually. And we do not disagree because Isabel's bacon is amazing. So that's the one we switched to. So that's the, the vegan one. They've got mine and Zoe's um, cheesecakes there. The Bliss um, salted caramel ones. They're really, really good. And we've got cheese strings there to go with lunches and stuff like that. What have we got about there? So we've got yogurts. Uh, we've got the... As this just essential chocolate mousses, which the kiddies have for afters, after their tea and stuff like that. And Florence is well into these yogurts now. She absolutely loves them. <clears throat> so she'll eat one of those for, for, as part of her lunch. Um, right, moving forward then, we've got the fruits. So we've uh, we've had a big old top up of those. We've got the Ellis Kitchen fruit, which um, Florence absolutely adores. And that's her lunches as well. So she likes to have, to have some of these for her lunches. Plus she has her picky food and everything else. So she she loves, 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 her, loves her grub. She's really... She's so really getting into um, finger food and stuff now as well. She's really, really good. Uh, and that's her breakfast, the creamy banana porridge. Loves that with a bit with a bit of fruit. Oh, someone's just walked in. Are you all right? Yeah. What are you after? I'm the wipes. You want the wipes? Okay. So again, we've got Agnes's go-go squeeze there because we're still trying to get her to have normal fruit, but she will not. She's so stubborn. She will not have the normal fruit. Um, but again, so these are just a bit of a replacement for fruit, but they're really, really good anyway, and they're all like a hundred percent fruit or whatever. Um, and then we've got the usual juice, so it's the quadruple strength uh, cherries and berries, and probably summer fruits in there somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Um, <clears throat> four of those will probably last us the week. And then we've got mine and Zoe's little tipple of an evening, the, cher the cherry Pepsi Max, which we do. We have tried different things before, but we just like what we like, and we like cherry Pepsi Max. Which is nice with a bit of ice, you know, and stuff like that in the evening. And then there's the kiddies, uh, summer fruits there, fizzy summer fruits, um, fizzy water. I think that's the top done. Right, let's have a look what we've got down here then. So, uh, not much down here today, just a few bits and bobs, a few toiletries there, some spray, some uh, bath, baby bath and... Uh, Toothpaste and bits, bits and bobs like that in there, so nothing really exciting. And then we've got uh, the frozen, so not as much as last week though. 
Really, it's got waffles. We've got hash browns, okay, chicken burgers. We've got chicken burgers to go with chicken burger night. Uh, then we've got the kiddies chicken burgers as well. There we go. One, two, three. We've got uh, chicken nuggets. There we go. We've got uh, alpha bites. So we get a week. We've got home cooked chips, McCain's oven chips. Uh, what else is in here? Let's have a look. And then we've got the. Oh, right, okay, these are, these are the frozen peppers. Frozen peppers, frozen red onions, and all that kind of malarkey. Oh, sorry, sorry, I just got my, just got my camera caught. Um, so it's frozen red peppers, uh, mixed peppers, and red onions to go with the fajitas. For the fajitas this week. So that's the rest of the frozen in there. There we go. Right, there we go guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it this week. So um, obviously this will last us now for a few days and we'll probably have to go to the shop and get a couple of extra bits like toilet roll. <laughs> they just went to the co-op and bought toilet roll and it cost them 10 pounds. Don't so even expensive. go there. It's a really expensive mistake to make. Oh dear, dear, the price of things now is just crazy, isn't it? But anyway, guys, there we go. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below and on our channel homepage for all of our social media links and our Leopard Fox designs and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next video. Bye!